tension and fears of possible breakdown of law and order have gripped Meiduguri Bono State following a reported attempt on the life of a lady alleged to have blasphemed Islam. The lady identified as Naomi Gomi is alleged to have committed blasphemy with her comments on a trending post on Facebook in reaction to the lynching of Deborah Samuel, a 200-level student of Shewishagari College of Education, Sokoto, who was burned to death by alleged Islamic extremists last week. Her comments triggered sharp reactions as someone volunteered the lady's location and house with a warning to get her. The threat by some people to give her the Deborah treatment made security agents to evacuate the lady and her family during the weekend. Security agencies were subsequently placed on red alert as the police and other sister agencies were seen patrolling the streets of Meduguri to nip any uprising in the board. Meanwhile, outrage and condemnation have continued to trade the lynching of Deborah, while the Northern Governors Forum condemned the acts of self-help as exhibited by the mob, saying it could threaten law order, general peace, and security of the society. Popular Kaduna-based Islamic scholar Sheikh Ahmad Gumi told those that participated in the act that they would not make paradise. Sheikh Gumi, in one of his preachings, a Sultan Belo Mosque in Kaduna said any Muslim who kills a Christian in Nigeria because the prophet was allegedly insulted would not smell paradise. He was Nigeria. He said Nigeria was not an Islamic state, and, and Muslims in the country have an agreement with people of other faiths to live together peacefully, and that anyone who kills them under religious guise has committed a grievous sin. Also, the Christian Association of Nigeria can, from 19 northern states and Abuja, conglomerates of fellowship of churches of Christ in Nigeria, known as Saraya. Uh, Tekan Catholic Lady Council of Nigeria and Areo Nokakan for Yoruba land Otsumba Ghani Adams yesterday joined in condemning Deborah's killing, describing it as an act of evil, as evil acts. Okay, hmm. again, <laughs> oh my goodness, I think uh, if the government is serious, I think they really to really need this whole thing in the board because. Uh, somebody said, oh, this kind of a thing can start escalating because of the protest that ensued, I think, a few days ago, that it can spread to other, other northern states. A Muslim told me, Jesus is not the son of God, but a prophet. Though I could, I could, but I did not even kill him. I didn't even allow anybody to hear the blasphemous statements in our Christian communities because I am more educated and civilized than him. Apart from that Jesus is stronger than me. God said, vengeance is mine. Okay. Um, you are right, my brother. I have been confronted by some of them on this platform where they made derogatory statements about uh, Jesus Christ. But I never took it personal because I felt they are not even knowledgeable enough to engage me in an argument about Jesus and the scriptures. Anybody has the right to believe or agree with you about your religion and what you believe. I think some of their imams needs to be education uh, cautioned on what they they teach. The northern Muslims should be cautioned about the murdering of innocent Nigerians in the name of a blasphemy. They are not the only only Muslims in the world because if they don't uh, desist from this act, they would bring religion crisis in the country. Make them come to Lagos and do that uh, nonsense and see what will happen to them. Of course, they won't even do that. I go to Sukutu and see what will happen to you. No, no, you can only do it in your own area. The sound engineer lynched and burnt to death. Is it not Lagos, my brother? We have no government. Yeah. We have no government at all. Your prophet Muhammad will continue to receive insults as long as you continue to be barbaric in your religion. Just like uh, Gumi said. Mm. Just like Gumi explained, but you think it will enter their head. Mm -mm. We promise you. All that anybody that fe he can blaspheme our prophet Muhammad will be treated like Deborah, period. Can you imagine? They are all over the place. And also your generation too will be insulted. Okay. Hmm. It is a shame because lots of Nigerians not educated. What happens to your prophet 
Okay. Uh, Muyua Omwali, Yoruba don't even fight because of religion. We are religion tolerant. I don't even support Hausa people. They are violent. But if you are bold, this, uh, your fumble carry, carry it to the north, toothless uh, dog. Hmm. Yes. Wow. The Christians in the area should rise against the Muslims. They like they did it in just the Christians should start killing Muslims. They can't do that. They can't even do that. Because who are you killing it for? Unfortunately, just like somebody said, we don't have governments. We don't have governments because if we do have governments, all of these things will not be happening. And we already know the stand of the government on this whole issue. We already know this their stand. They are just pussy footy. They are they are just a, a, a in between. But we can understand their body language so perfectly well. Nigeria is coming to an end. Oh Lord, let it happen when we want a peace. We want a peace of mind. All Christians in the north should leave the north. I think uh, this is the right time for that. Christians in the north, <laughs> we have uh, some Fulanis, we have uh, some uh, houses, we have people from the northern extraction. They are Christians too. So are they going to leave their environment for who? Who are they going to leave their environment for? Even in most uh, dominated uh, Muslim country, they see a lot of other people. With, they still have a pockets of uh, other religion uh, religions. So I don't think that is even the issue because Nigeria is a secular state. It's not a it's not a religious state. It's not a Muslim state. It's not a Christian. It's a secular state that everybody is free to practice his or a religion. It's just like if somebody infringe on your rights, what you need to do is just to go and to sue the person or take the person to court or you take the person to the police station. That is the, that is the, uh, what you can do. And is this only still applicable if somebody feel, feel that somebody offends you, offends your prophet? You know, you take the person to to the appropriate court so that the person will be we dealt with accordingly. Because I believe that even in Nigerian constitution, all of these things are inculcated there. All of these are there. So that everything will be balanced. So that everything will be balanced. So just, uh, uh, it's just a, a shame. Hmm. Well, let them come down here and I see if they uh, will not be treated as well. Nigeria has turned to Pakistan and Afghanistan. Islamic scholars tell them if they will hear, since Sheikh Gumi is against their action, they should go after him. Can they go after him? He got a post. More respect for the Malam. Mm. Listen to my fellow Nigerians, all Muslims in our country. Okay, whatever they like, they should just do. So guys, leave your comment down there below and let's have your take.